morning dear students today we are going to learn about a small poem at this poem you're going to like a lot because it is about a small kid like you all now tell me <coughs> how many of you actually do naughty things at home sometimes when you're sitting on the table you will just start beating the table and spoons you will try to take the cover out you will try to run here and there so here we are going to study about the story of a small boy whose name is fidgety philip we'll read the poem and find out what kind of a boy he was let me see if philip can be a little gentleman now if you see in your books you will see that there is a father there is a mother and there is one little boy fidgety philip so the father is saying let me see if this philip will sit still if if he behaves like a gentleman who is a gentleman who eats properly who sit properly who talk properly but what is philip doing he is just doing things here and there he is just laughing moving here and there so the father is saying let me see let me see if this philip can behave like a gentleman if he will do good things or not let me see if he is able to sit still for one sat table sit still means sit like this see if you move here and there you move your hands that means you are not still still means to stop like this now children when you still when you are still and you eat food you eat like this you take a spoon and then eat take a spoon and and then eat but what is philip doing he is doing like this taking from here growling from here so the father is saying let me see if he can sit still and then behave like a gentleman thus papa bid phil behave bid beta it is the past form of bid bid means to offer so the father is saying philip if you behave properly you might get something if you sit properly on the table you never know i can surprise you and mama looked very grave but mama is totally in shock she is sad because she knows that philip cannot sit properly and he is going to create any problem or trouble <coughs> but fidgety phil he won't sit still but this child even if his parents have told him he is not going to sit still he is just moving here and there again he wriggles wriggles means moving your body here and there sometimes he is moving like this sometimes he is moving like this then he puts his head down then he stands up so he is moving his body here and there which is wriggles and giggles giggles means laughing unnecessary laughing it happens with you sometimes sometimes you see a funny cartoon on the tv and you laugh like anything you start giggling so what is he doing actually the father and the mother they are very angry that philip is not behaving properly but what is philip doing he is moving his body he is laughing he is wiggling and then i declare swings backwards and forwards now what is he doing he is swinging swinging like backward forward backward forward he is continuously doing it and tilts up his chair now all of a sudden because he was just moving backward forward backward forward sideways his chair is about to get fall his chair is almost tilted just like any rocking horse philip i am getting cross now the father now the father is saying philip if you fall if this chair falls i am going to be very angry now why he is getting angry because the philip is not listening to him father is saying behave like a gentleman eat properly but he is not ready to do so see the naughty restless child growing still more rude and wild now the father and mother are saying look at this naughty child he is so restless now children when you are rest you sit like this you are resting you are sleeping what is restless when you are just doing anything you are just moving your body so the parents are saying just look at this naughty child look at this philip what is he doing he is growing still more rude he is not listening to us he is becoming more rude more you know he is not following what is saying now good children what do good students do they listen to the teacher they listen to the parents but is philip listening to the parent no that means he is not a good boy he is a rude boy and he is becoming more wild something he is like you know he has seen wild animals wild dogs they keep on barking they keep on roaming so he is behaving like wild till his chair falls over quiet oh my god 
now because he was not sitting properly he was not sitting still his chair actually falls his chair has fallen and along with chair who will fall philip also fell down philip screams with all his might now philip knows that he is about to fall so he starts shouting oh, oh help me help me i'm going to fall i'm going to fall so now <coughs> fidgety philip is actually starting shouting and screaming catches at the cloth oh my god now because he was sitting on the table table on the chair and table had a table cloth so when he was falling he tried to stop it through a cloth he hold that cloth so that he doesn't fall but does cloth have any strength when he pulled the cloth the cloth also came down with philip and children what was put on the table cloth food so all the food plate knife scissor soup bowl everything fell on the floor that is what his parents were saying if you don't sit properly this will happen and unfortunately because philip fell philip took hold of the table cloth and along with the table cloth everything fell that makes matter worse again this matter this matter is now worse because now his parents are going to take strict action against phil philippi uh, fidgety philip now when the all the utensils all the plates and dishes are on the floor down upon the ground they fall now in the ground on the ground everything has fallen because of philip glasses plate knives forks and all everything has fallen how mama did fret and frown now the mother is getting angry that i was shouting on you i was telling you do not do that still you did such thing when she saw them tumbling down now children they were made of glass and glass is a very sensitive material so when everything fall down they started breaking so what happened actually mother started frowning she was like philip i was telling you since 10 minutes do not do that do not do that now you must be relating such kind of thing happens with you sometime you do something wrong and your mother and father they start shouting we told you not to do that so similar thing happened with philip now philip philip's uh, parents were getting angry and papa made such a face now his father was already angry and then he made a face like this hmm now you meet me now you come to me philip is in sad disgrace now philip is all scared and he said oh my god i wish i could have listened to my parents because i am i was becoming so rude now he is scared what his mother and father are going to do where is philip where is he now sure what happens when philip fell down the all material the table cloth is on him the utensils are on him and he is under them he is covered by the table cloth so now the parents are saying but where is philip we can't see him he just fell down where has he gone fairly covered up you see cloth and all are lying on him so everything actually fall on philip he has pulled down all upon him what a terrible thing to do the parents are saying such a stupid such a stupid person he is it's such a terrible thing who does that we all were eating food because of his stupidity because of his naughty behavior now everything he has put on his head dishes glasses snapped into two snapped into two now they are in two pieces all the dishes and all the glasses <coughs> here a knife and there a fork somebody somewhere else knife is there somewhere fork is there everything is lying apart you never know the entire room is full of glasses plate tumblers and everything philip this is cruel as work table also bare <clears throat> now the parents are saying that this is really cruel work that you have done you have wasted everything you have wasted the food you have actually broken the glasses broken the plates poor papa and poor mama now why we are saying poor now what can they do what is done is done everything is destroyed they can't bring back the food they can't join the broken plates so we are calling them poor mother and poor father look quite cross and wonder how they are very angry and at the same time they are wondering they are thinking what they are thinking they shall have their dinner now how will they have their dinner because all the food is wasted by philip so how are they going to get the food 
So this story was about a naughty child whose name was Fidgety Philip who because of his stupidness, his naughtiness, he destroyed everything. So what lesson you get children? The best lesson from this poem is always listen to your parents, do not disrespect them, don't talk rudely to them, listen to what they are saying because parents are never wrong. Whatever parents say, they say for a reason. Alright, now promise me that all of you are going to follow your parents. Thank you.